I'm going to give you an overview of the ActiveCampaign Stripe integration so you can see how you can sync customer data from your payment processor with ActiveCampaign contacts to enhance your marketing. I'm Jason, Growth Specialist at Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for Europe-based businesses. Let's check it out. Before we start talking about the integration, let's go over what Stripe is. If you haven't heard of it, Stripe is used by millions of companies to process payments and it allows them to accept payments online and via mobile apps as well. And basically once you integrate Stripe with ActiveCampaign, uh, as ActiveCampaign mentions, you'll be able to trigger ActiveCampaign automations to deliver one-to-one -one communications that will save you time and drive growth. And you'll be able to do that at scale by uh, syncing the information from Stripe and events inside Stripe. So this can be you know, related to payments, failed payments, et cetera. We'll go over those in a second. Um, syncing those events with your active campaign contacts. So here are just a few things that you can do with this integration. You can automatically tag contacts in active campaign based on events in Stripe uh, that you can then use for segmentation and conditional content, which will help you increase the relevancy of your marketing because you're pulling in the exact behavior that uh, a customer has taken uh, via Stripe. So. If I go to our tags here in Active Campaign and I search for Stripe tags, you can actually see these that are auto created by uh, by the integration. You've got Stripe integration, and then two Stripe integration charge succeeded uh, events here. And we'll go over which events you can set up in just a second. These are events relevant to um, our settings, but yours might be a bit different depending on uh, the way that you set up the connection. You can also uh, welcome new subscribers with personalized emails to drive brand loyalty and enhance the customer experience. Reduce manual work with internal teams. So if there are uh, refunds, issues with payments, um, someone has a new payment, a recurring subscription, or there's a new customer, um, you can even automate sending out surveys to someone if they choose to get a refund or to cancel their subscription to improve the experience for future customers and even try to win back customers that are canceling. And then finally, you can automatically encourage upgrades uh, when a trial is ending using Stripe subscription events that'll trigger notifications. Then you can use Active Campaign to ping your sales team, uh, send a transactional email that'll be delivered instantly to the contact to let them know that their trial is coming to an end and encourage them to upgrade. Uh, you can even integrate further with Active Campaign and ping someone on an internal communication channel like Stripe. Uh, like Slack, uh, to let them know, hey, reach out, this person's trial is ending, they haven't upgraded yet. Um, so it really opens up a lot of doors in terms of uh, improving your internal systems as well. And I'm going to show you right now a few of these examples directly inside of uh, Active Campaign. So when I go into automations inside Active Campaign and I go to create an automation, we're gonna search through the recipes uh, and these are the quick templates that Active Campaign has that allows you to get up and running super quickly, um, you know, without starting with a blank canvas. You you have something that's already built, and then you can kind of improve on that and customize it to your own specific use case. So if I search Stripe in here, these are all of the different examples that are pre-built uh, that you can use and customize for yourself. So we've got Stripe new subscription welcome, subscription win back, refund follow-up, invoice payment failed follow-up. So no more you know, manual collection of funds when someone fails to, to pay or there's an issue with their card, trial ending drip series, trial ending notification. These are all pre-built out and you can select any of these to get started. I'm gonna show you this one here to kind of build out quickly um, the example I just mentioned and show you the power of the, the Stripe and Active Campaign integration. So we'll click that and hit continue. And then we can just hit get started with the automation setup wizard. And we're just gonna walk through. This is the message that'll go to the team to let them know that the um, contact has a trial expiring and share that information from Stripe. So I'll say from support, I will send it to myself. Okay, so this would ping me via email so that I would be the one uh, reaching out. And I'll show you where it is in the flow in just a second. And then we can even add a task for our sales team member. We've got these different uh, task types. We can say email follow-up. And the pipeline can be the wild mail pipeline. And you can see here in the notes, it'll assign a task of some sort to your sales team to follow up personally with the trial contact. We'll hit next. Now at the top here, 
See where it says resource subscription trial will end. These are events received from Stripe directly. Uh, we do not have this specific event set up. We have different events you know, set up around uh, payments that are made, not subscription trials ending. Uh, but this would be available for you uh, if you set up a, the resource that is paired with this event. So we've got a specific resource, how many times it runs, um, so just so you can see that that would be the trigger. So as soon as someone has a trial will end, you'll be able to choose that. Notifying me via email, adding a task to the deal to reach out to the trial. And we can also then add, if I go to conditions and workflow, a webhook. This can work with Zapier to notify uh, your sales team via Slack. Or I can hit plus and go to sending options, send a transactional email. And now I can send an email because it's based on their account and their trial expiring. We can go through the steps here. We've got a video that dives deeper into transactional emails with Postmark right here. And this will explain how you can send an email that has a very high deliverability rate uh, directly into the contacts inbox. And it typically delivers instantly. Um, it does not have an unsubscribe link because it's not uh, considered a marketing email. It's considered a transactional uh, email regarding their account, their trial account in this case. And all of that can be included here, uh, here in your automation uh, together accomplished on autopilot via the Stripe and ActiveCampaign integration. So let's look at how to connect Stripe to ActiveCampaign. First, in your ActiveCampaign account, we're going to go to Apps, and we're going to find Stripe and hit Connect Account. So if I go back into my account here, I go to Apps. You'll typically see it right at the top with Popular Apps. So you can click that here. And you'll see we already have one set up here. But if I wanted to, in the top right, I could add a new resource. And this allows me to create or update contacts from Stripe events. I could add a new account, or I can select here our existing accounts, and then choose a different resource. And this is what I mentioned before. If you wanted the subscription trial will end resource event. It all happens when you're syncing your Stripe account to Active Campaign. This is where you'll be able to choose the resource and the resource event, as well as the tags. You can see here, tags can be used to trigger automations. These are tags that will automatically be added. So Stripe integration tag is the default, and then Stripe integration subscription trial will end. These will both get added to your contacts uh, when this event triggers. So it's triggering from Stripe, and these tags will get added uh, in Stripe and then in Active Campaign as well. And you can use this, as I mentioned, uh, back in your automations right here. Now, when you're connecting your account, it's going to walk you through a few different steps. You'll have to copy and paste your Stripe API keys. You can find those from your live API keys and then your secret key uh, inside your Stripe account. And then, as I mentioned, choose the resource. That'll determine the resource events that you can choose from uh, to sync your data here, which will determine these here that you'll be able to select. So if I choose another one, just as an example, customer, select event, created, update it, charge, succeeded or refunded. That will allow you to select the event type that you want to create. And then the final step will be uh, mapping. OK, so just to show you an example, if I say subscription, created, continue, and then we will have to map the fields from Stripe into our active campaign fields, and you can add additional fields as well to map uh, those values. And then you'll be able to hit finish, and your accounts will be synced up. You'll have your Stripe account integrated with your active campaign account uh, to power your active campaign marketing automation using all of that information and that data pulled from Stripe. So if you have any questions about how the Stripe active campaign integration works, drop them in the comments below. We'd be happy to help you set that up. Now, just to wrap up this overview of the e-commerce dashboard, a few notes on how the revenue is calculated. Uh, for Shopify users, discounts are going to be excluded from the revenue amount shown in your dashboard here. And then for uh, WooCommerce and BigCommerce users, the discounts will not be excluded from the revenue amount shown. When calculating the revenue, uh, the attribution window is seven days. So that means the purchase has to be made within seven days of the campaign or the automation uh, sending a campaign. 
And then the purchase also has to be made by an active campaign contact that's active, of course, who opened or clicked a link inside uh, the email and purchased within a connected e-com uh, shop. And then that revenue will be attributed to the campaign uh, that was sent out. Okay, but for it to be attributed to a specific campaign, this has to happen. Uh, and that, that uh, purchase has to happen within seven days of the campaign or automation being sent out. All right, if you have any questions about uh, what you're able to see in the e-commerce dashboard here, what you can do with this data, uh, anything around the deep data integrations as well, first check out our marketing automation playlist. We have a bunch of other videos, you know, going over uh, these different integrations with e-com platforms, as well as strategies and additional e-com features. And if you don't see what you're looking for, just drop your questions below. We'll be happy to help you out.